Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's My Boat feature. Many cottage boats are used to commute around the lake at night, whether it's getting to the cottage or off to visit friends. So if you do any nighttime navigation, a set of headlamps would probably come in pretty helpful. So this week on My Boat, we're going to show you how to install a set of docking lights. The supplies and tools needed to install the lights are fairly basic. First, we selected a set of docking lights from Innovative Lighting and gathered up wire, connectors, sealant, a drill and jigsaw, and assorted hand tools. The first task is to determine the approximate position for the lights at the bow. Factoring in clearance and access to the inside of the hull, aesthetics, and the curve of the bow so the lights shine straight ahead. When satisfied, mark the approximate center line and width of the light on the hull with a china pencil. With the marks in place, I taped off the hull with masking tape to protect the gel coat in the working area. Now, as we all know, boats ride slightly bow up, so following the installation instructions, we selected and marked a small down angle. With the position of the light marked, the last step before the serious stuff is to tape the template for cutting and drilling in position on my marks. After double checking the position of the template, I drilled the large holes that would accept the jigsaw blade. With the drill handy, the holes for the mounting screws were drilled following the template. Confident that everything was marked out correctly, I put the jigsaw to work. And that's it, a nice hole in the boat. After removing the template and the protective masking tape, I thoroughly coated the raw fiberglass and core with marine sealant to protect it from water penetration. Next, the gasket was put in place on the docking light body, and marine grade sealant was applied to the entire gasket. Sealant was also applied to the mounting holes, then the light body was set in place, and the stainless mounting screws were started. Then the mounting screws were tightened by hand to ensure that the gel coat did not crack, a risk when using a power driver. Finally, a gasket was placed in the trim cover, and the stainless cover and lens was set in place and secured firmly to seat the gasket and keep the water out. Well, there you have it. Docking light number one is in. We're going to move on to the next one, so we'll get back to you when it's time for the wiring. Well, we've got the messy work done with the uh, lights installed here in the hull on the boat, so the next part of this project is to do the wiring. A couple of key things before you get started. Make sure you select marine grade connectors, fuse holders and fuses, and especially marine grade tinned wire. The first thing you have to do before you go shopping for the wire and some of the bits here, though, is to figure out what you're going to need for a uh, wire size, the AWG rating. Well, that's figured out by using a formula, which is watts equals amps times volts. So we've got 250 watt lamps, do the calculation, that's uh, 4.16 amps per uh, light. So we're going with a rated capacity of 8 to 10 amps here. And for the distance of the run on this chart, we've picked 14 gauge wire. My first task with the wiring was to fish the wires from the helm to the anchor locker to reach the lights. And I started by taping the two together to draw them through at the same time. Then it was under the helm to feed the wires, then into the bow lockers to pull them through into the anchor locker. Next, I stripped all of the wires for the power supply and light. Next, wires from each light were twisted together, inserted into a barrel connector, then a heat shrink tube was placed on the power wire. The wire was inserted in the connector, and the connector was crimped, and using a butane torch, the heat shrink tubing was sealed in place. At the helm, the switch panel was removed to access the spare switch. After stripping the power leads, bayonet connectors were installed and crimped. The wiring was fed up through the helm and plugged into the switch. With the switch back in the panel and the panel secured back in the helm, a quick test verified that in fact the lights work and the job was done. Overall, the job's not too tough. Set yourself three or four hours aside to do it. And I think after we uh, watch the sun go down here in Muskoka, we'll be out for a cruise to try them out tonight. <laughs>